I recently picked up this wardrobe second hand and it's perfect size for my little boy's room. He's got loads of clothes now, definitely hasn't got enough uh, room to fit them in the drawers in his bedroom. And well, he's got more clothes than me. So this wardrobe is a little bit, it needs a bit of TLC, let's put it that way. It's only got one handle and there's some scuff marks on the front here. So I'm going to use some DC Fix today to reinvent it a bit, refashion it, and I'm going to use some of his favourite colours so that they go nicely with his room. And what's great about it as well is I can always change it in the future if he, you know, gets into maybe he wants a planet-themed room or football or something else at a later date, I can always use a different DC Fix to change it. So I'm going to put a star pattern on the outside of the door, and then I'm going to go for a bright red on the inside, and then just put a new handle on as well because I can't just leave it with one like that. Just check how much we need. So I'm just going to cut off some of this excess at the bottom and then the next step is to just line it right up at the top and it's really important if I just get this straight edge there then it means that the pattern will all be straight all the way down the wardrobe. If it starts a bit wonky then it'll all go veering off to one side. I've already wiped this down with a cloth and um, it was a little bit grubby so if you have got any grit or anything on there um, it, you do just need to wipe it down before you stick the plastic on. Peel it back all the way along the top and just fold back a small section so I can grip onto that when I start putting it down. And then lining up the top, you can peel it back until it's absolutely perfect so you don't want to end up with it wonky at the top. So I'm overlapping it on both sides and then I'm going to use the scalpel to trim the excess down um, at, at either edge. So then you can just use the smoother to make sure that you've got rid of any of those air bubbles. Just push them right out to the side. And then we start peeling it down. I have got this overhang here at the side at the moment, but that's fine because I'm going to trim that off. nice and smooth you can use the other end so when you use this smoother for getting rid of air bubbles you use the soft and um, felt covered side but what you can use this red side for is to just push right into that crease there um, so I can make a really easy fold for me to then get the scalpel in to trim away the excess so I'm just going to push that right in all the way down and then next up is the trimming so just using the scalpel and then peeling off that excess there. And then we need to trim off the excess now on that's um, hanging over onto this side. So I'm gonna start at the top. Again, just pushing the um, scalpel into the edge of the door. Then the next bit is to cover the inside of the door. Obviously you could do it in exactly the same as the front if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go for a bright color so you get that pop of really bright, bold color when you do open the doors of the wardrobe. So I'm gonna go for this red um, DC fix. Exactly the same technique, starting at the top, rolling it all the way down to the bottom. done so the front obviously in the stars and the inside in the red now I just need to put the handle back on so I've got some new handles actually there are some really cool different ones you can get it just depends what theme you're doing the room in so I've got some stars to match the front of the wardrobe feel for that hole brilliant oh well I'm really happy with that I know he's gonna love it as well um, I'm just gonna carry on and do the other door now it's the exact same process so the stars on the outside red on the inside and then I'll show you it when it's all finished <laughs> 